Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's a new playlist about Live Plus, Arduino Nano Plus, CSM. Okay, this is a very amazing playlist because in this playlist we are going to upload step by step GSM projects that's based on your like automation you can easy to implement in your room or in your office as per your comment. Okay, uh, like I'm giving the hint of uh, video number two that's uh, I have GSM module and in the help of this module we are receiving messages. Uh, from mobile phone to live view okay how we can do let's we are seeing the video number two now this video is very important this video is based on this world shield this is the newest hardware this world shield and it's developed by my teacher name is this Raz Dhiman. okay and the very most important things like uh, why uh, we are choosing this world shield except to Arduino and no okay you can uh, work on this one also in this playlist but you are facing a lot of error or we can say lots of problem because you need a perfect circuit of uh, interlink with other sensors like i'm giving an example like if you have a lcd okay in this leds have a 16 pins okay and in this pins have a different different work okay and you need a perfect circuit or wiring diagram how we uh, how you can interlink arduino nano with uh, like uh, you can say lcd okay and that time you need a lots of wire okay if you are missing a single line that time you are facing lots of error and it's very difficult to troubleshoot that problem okay but in the dashboard shield it's everything is inbuilt okay everything is pcb inbuilt okay and have a simple empty port like if you are have a lcd then directly take your component and directly insert in the shield okay that's a very amazing things in this shield have lots of things i'm going to tell you step by step okay and easy to buy it's very very low cost like uh, maybe uh, seven to eight hundred okay link in description you can go and visit and have uh, every details in the website about uh, everything in the step by step and also uh, upload a lot of projects in the website link in description go and visit okay now I'm going to uh, tell about the this world chill step by step okay now let's start okay now let's see okay this is the website i'm giving the link description go and visit okay now you see this is the hardware okay now let's i'm um, tell you okay as you see this is the hardware okay uh, right now i'm connected the lcd and bluetooth and have a arduino nano also you see okay now i remove this all components yes now you see okay, okay. uh this is uh this board shell okay version 2.0 okay now it's very amazing i already tested it at uh, 22 25 times okay and uh, the most important this is your arduino nano okay and you need to this uh, like communication wire okay and this is your reset pin okay and this is your led every details in the like chrome you can go and search about arduino nano okay okay and this shield uh, like we can say this hardware how we can attach in this shield you see this is the port of your uh, arduino nano we can easy to insert like this like this okay like this okay now you see okay the next component like you see this is your lcd and you see they have a ports about the lcd and also declare the pins also like this is uh, starting from 1 to 16 and you see uh, in there also have declare about 16 and 1 that's why you can easy to link or easy to insert in this shield like this like this okay yes now uh, you see this is the bluetooth also you can have a port uh, the bluetooth can easy to link like this 
and they have lots of ports and you see uh, in the like you see in the left side have ultrasonic and the right side also you see left side ultrasonic pins you can easy to interlink and have also right side also you can easy to build like this okay the next one we can say uh, like led like you see they have a, uh, two leds here in the starting one is for your power supply okay when you give the power supply that time indicate uh, okay and the next one is your inbuilt uh, uh, number 12 okay arduino nano uh, pin number 12 okay inbuilt okay and these are two switches uh, switch number 10 connect to the pin number 10 and pin number 11 okay and this buzzer also connect to the pin number 12 already connected okay step by step we are learning everything's detail okay the most important things are like you see this is the motor control this is the driver okay this is the motor motor 1 and motor 2 okay and uh, the next one is like you see this is your temperature temperature module m35 this port this is your like line follower okay okay now everything is done now let's test is this hardware how it's work and guys the most important uh, this is the uh, 12 volt adapter you see this is the 12 volt adapter okay you see input uh, 240 okay and the output 12 volt 2 ampere okay now you need two adapter like this uh, one is for your shield and other is for your this gsm module okay i'm going to tell about later about this module okay now all done and give the 12 volt battery 12 volt supply okay help of this adapter okay and this is the one main switch for turn on the cam switch like you see it's on okay you see okay now let's start to first uh, blink led this is led number connected uh, 12 num pin number 12 okay and you see this is the port number 12 number pin and the buzzer also connected with this if you are removing the jumper that time your buzzer is not uh, turn on okay okay now let's start first let's create a programming now open arduino you know e r d u i n o Uh, right now you need to connect USB to your laptop okay okay now click to tools and follow step by step okay first you choose your com port com number 3 okay, the next is processor it's very important you need to select 80 mega 328p old bootloader okay otherwise if you are choosing this other two then you face error okay the board is an uh, Arduino Nano yes and programmer this one avrisp mkwl okay all done after this, let's create a programming let's create a simple project about the blink led okay like all done now first you need to click to verify okay it's done now let's going to upload now I'll click to upload okay now you see okay uh, pin number 12 buzzer also connected that's why when turn on led buzzer also indicate okay now what you do let's i'm remove this wire and attach 12 volt battery okay now let's i'm click to turn on this switch okay now you see after 500 milliseconds it's on off on off on off like this okay and this you see buzzer also connected to the 12 number pin okay and if you remove this jumper then your buzzer is turn off only LED on okay if you work with buzzer then you need to attach this jumper wire like this okay guys it's perfect working okay in the next video we are going to interlink with this GSM module okay this is also linked with this uh, uh, like this is a dashboard shield okay and uh, in the link in uh, given the description you can easy to buy everything as per your requirement we are insert same in this uh, slot okay okay guys and thank you so much if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys